Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. The Atomic Shop's just updated and we just got a new bundle thrown in called the Mothman Wing Clipper Bundle. This is 1200 atoms and it includes the Mothman Pose, the reported sighting photo mode frame, the purple Mothman Eye Backpack Flare, the Mothman Wing Clipper Backpack, the Mothman Sightings Poster, the Shooting Target, the Mothman Egg in a Jar, and also the Mothman Wing Clipper Helmet and Outfit. So lots to go over and we'll be reviewing all of these as well as on the last page we also got a Fallout First exclusive with this new gate that was data mined years ago and it's finally been added in. So I'm going to review all these in this video so hope you enjoy. If you do, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe and let's dive straight in. The first two items on the list to be shown off now is going to be the Mothman Pose as well as the reported sighting photo mode frame. Now I've got to be honest, I love the artwork on the frame. I'm not really a frame person, not going to lie, I don't really use them. But I do really like the artwork on this one, I think it looks really cool. And the pose itself is brilliant. It reminds me of the actual emote that you do and what you see all the cultists doing. So I love the fact that they've added this in as a, fro as a, as a pose. I'm just really surprised it actually took them so long to do this, but yeah. Really cool. Next on the list we have the new wing clipper outfit and mask to match and I've got to be honest this looks absolutely awesome. I actually love it. The armor on it itself looks just brilliant. I love all the use of the different metals and stuff as you can see like around the waist they're using some as a belt. There's some on the other arm of where the pit boy would be. You've also got all the bits like lodged into the tire that's around your shoulders. This is a brilliant brilliant outfit and I think this is going to be my go-to from now on. Now matching the outfit really well is the new backpack that actually came with it. There is one slight little issue, it does kind of appear to disappear into the cape of the outfit as well as the bit that goes around the neck. You can see like the horns of the little, I don't know, it looks more like a Maya look kind of thing, like with the horns of it sticks through the fabric of the back. That is something which I don't think is very good, I think that's one downside of it. But overall this mixed in with the actual outfit itself looks brilliant. If anyone in your life's told you to grow a set of balls, now is the chance because you can have two Mothman ones on your backpack. Now the one issue with this backpack is, as you can see, they're not actually lined up to where they should be. So if we go from the side as well, it's kind of that one's linked in, but the other one really, really isn't. So I don't know... Like, we've seen this in so many times, where Bethesda released something and it just looks as if no one has tested it before it's got released. Like, surely to God, someone should have looked at, one, the fact that the backpack goes through the outfit. You can see it perfectly here from this angle where the backpack is just going through it. And then, two, the actual flares that come with the backpack do not line up where they really should. Like, surely that one on the right should be on that bit of steel rebar on the right-hand side where it's kind of hooked over. Surely that would make sense, not just kind of floating. Like, if we go to the side over here, you can see it's not connected to anything. Like, unless they've just welded that onto that bit of spine of whatever that's called i don't know but oh god the controller's broke but yeah you know you know what i mean see it just doesn't like let's look there so one's in the middle of the backpack and one is on the left like it just doesn't add up but i'm not taking that away from the fact this outfit looks absolutely phenomenal it's just a shame that people seem to not test things out before releasing them Next item on the list is going to be the new Mothman Sightings poster. Now I really actually like this one. I don't know what all the different bits and bobs are. I think that little blue one on the left hand side though, if you can see it, I think that's where the lighthouse is roughly, like somewhere around that area. That's what I'm going to say. I might be wrong. And there's also a little thing, like a green one down in the bottom right. So it's interesting that all the red ones are linked. Then we've got a blue one. We've got another green one in the top left. We've also got a green one in the bottom right and another green one on the left hand, like bottom left corner in like the ash heap region or what would be the ash heap region although i don't know i suppose the rivers line up with the map yeah they do it's just i don't know i don't know but overall really solid item i don't know if the actual pins stick out that'd be a really interesting thing yeah they, they kind of look like they do don't they a bit hard to make out you can't really get the angle but they kind of look like they stick out yeah what do you think about this one though let me know down in the comments 
Following that, we also have the new Mothman eggs in a jar. Now, these do have a slight glow, although they don't really look like they do much light, and although it isn't dark in the area that they're in, so maybe I'll have to look at that further. But normally, you would be able to see the, like, the reflection coming off them if they let off much light. So if there is any light, it's extremely minimal by the looks of it. But overall, it is a very cool-looking item. I like it when we get these things in jars. That We've got a few of them now. We've got a foot, we've got a head, and we've got other bits and bobs, I think. So, yeah, overall, solid item. Next item and the final item. Oh my god, they actually get destroyed. That is so cool. I was meant, <laughs> I was meant to be just shoot them for the review, but as you can see, it actually works. So these are actually interactive shooting targets, as you've just seen there. But this is the final item in the bundle. This is the Mothman shooting target, as you can see. And we've just done some damage to that one, so that's what it looks like broken, and that's what it looks like in full health. You can actually build unlimited of these as well, obviously up until your camp budget's full. But as you can see, you can actually do some damage, and they have an interaction where explodes with these yellow mist as if the Mothman's just disappeared so that's really really cool Alright, now the next item I want to show off is the Fallout First exclusive item of the entire month. And this is this new gear that's came in. Now this gear has been data mined for years now and it's been a massive push to try and get this out. Uranium Favors pushed it massively to try and just get them to say something on it. And we've waited and waited and waited. It does have a little message that says beware of, uh, beware the eater, whatever the hell that means. Um, but yeah, very cool looking item. I'm going to turn the game sound on now so you can actually hear what it sounds like. So prepare your ears in case it's really loud. So there we have it, the new gear that's been thrown in. Overall, I've got to be honest, I really love it. I love the design of it, the fact that it's got this broken car that's on these like real cart things, like a train type of track that's going along to close it. The sound sounded all right to me. The actual closing of it did sound a little bit out of sync, like it was shutting. It shut and then the noise kept on going a little bit, but over, other than that, it looks really good. I did put these just beside it. That's not actually part of it. As you can see, that's just the junk fences, uh, just to kind of make it fit in a little bit more in the shelter. But overall, really, really solid item, and I'm actually really happy about that, so yeah. But there we go guys, that is all the new items that's came in the Atomic Shop this week. I hope you've all enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and drop a comment below what you thought of them all. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next one, bye bye.